I once met this middle-aged man in a park, and I was totally surprised by him. He asked to borrow my phone and I let him have it, but then he proceeded to call his daughter and scolded her. It was perfectly normal, right? I thought. But then he called his father and scolded him as well, and this really startled me. I then met a young lady at a crowded MRT station. She had social anxiety, and I helped her by bringing her back home because she was not feeling well. Well, you know what? It wasn't her house. It was an old man. He called me in the house and we have a small talk. He asked me if I could buy him a stack of papers and a pen. I was puzzled, but nonetheless I went down to the mama shop and bought a few papers and a pen. Came back up and gave it to him. He started writing and writing and writing. It never really stopped until he did, before continuing to write again. Eventually he does stop writing and folds it. He puts the paper in a nice brown envelope and gives it to me. He says this really softly, but nonetheless I could feel the passion in his voice. He said, keep this dear, give this to whoever you feel like giving it to. It was weird, so I took it half-heartedly, almost unwillingly. Days passed and I brought this envelope with me everywhere I went, but I never really felt like giving it to anyone. Until I go to the park again and I see this middle-aged man, I then thought, Hey, isn't he the, the man who borrowed that phone from me? I made small talk with him, and I really felt like he was the chosen one. I handed the letter to him, and he looked confused for a second, but intrigued. He opened it and reads it. He tears up. I was shocked. He says something along the lines of, Oh my god, in a brutal voice. He glances at me and leaves. I didn't see the lady the next day, coincidentally. She again brings me to the old man's house. I tell the old man I gave someone the letter and he looked at me surprised. He said he was also expecting his son to meet him today, after 20 years. He asked me to wait until his son comes. I didn't know why, but I obliged. And pretty soon I heard the doorbell ring. I was reading a copy of the book, the book War of Kindness, my back facing the door until the lady and the man ran toward, to the door. I hear the creaking of the door as it opens and I became very interested. I turned behind and I saw the man I met at the park. He had not talked to his father for 20 years after they'd fought and he never really let his daughter, the lady, meet his grandfather. The lady had been sneaking out all the time. The middle-aged man hugs his father and says sorry. The three of them get into a little group heart and I leave quietly as the reunited family had their moment. A stream of tears flowed on my face, not of sadness, not of relief, but it was almost of catharsis. I left the place. Was this all a coincidental meeting? Perhaps, but it was certainly humanity's brought on work. What is humanity? It can just be the thought of crying for someone else's problem, laughing at someone else's joke, or even helping a kid that has fallen down right in front of you. If you have a kid who has fallen down, you might never know. But if ever that kid falls out again, he will know how to get back up when I am one house helping. Voila! You've just taught a kid a life lesson by just helping him. Always never leave someone in the dark as long as you are in the face of this earth. Always be inclusive, so life will be an exclusive experience.